Today I am taking a look at the pacifier fragmentation cannons from Powerplay to see if they're worth anything. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. I recently got my hands on the pacifier fragmentation cannons from uh, Zachary Hudson. And today we're going to look at the stats, we're going to discuss what situations they're going to be good at, and I'm going to especially try to focus on them in a PvP context, and what type of ship they would fit on um, the best. But first, let's uh, go and dive straight into the hard stats on the two weapons. Right here, you can see the stats on both a normal uh, fragmentation fixed uh, large cannon, so large fixed fragmentation cannon and also the stats um, on, the, uh, on the right here for the pacifier fragmentation cannons which are also large and fixed that's why these two are the most fair I think in terms of comparison and you can see that most of the stats are pretty much identical there's not a lot of, uh, of differences here but there is a few most notably, when we start from the top, is of course the damage per second. We can see the damage per second on the normal fragmentation cannons are 250, um, which is very high, but again, keep in mind that is um, assuming that all your fragments hit. If you go over to the uh, pacifiers, it dropped down to uh, 260. So we do have a loss in, uh, in effective damage per second on the sheet, at least. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. And then a lot of stuff is the same, distributor draws the same, thermal load, armor piercing. And then it begins to get interesting. Notice here the maximum range goes up from 2 kilometers to 3 kilometers. But with the nature of fragmentation cannons, of course, they, um, they shoot out a ton of small fragments, which will uh, scatter in a cone. And the more fragments that hit, the more damage you do. Um, so... You can see here right now the, the damage per, per fragment of things that was listed here as uh, 4 for the uh, for the pacifiers and as 4.6 for the uh, normal fragmentation cannon. So you get less damage per fragment. So you need to hit with more fragments. Um, and of course, so if you shoot something at long range, uh, you're going to have less of fragments hit because they're going to spread out more. So your effective DPS will, of course, be lower. Um, but you do have longer range. I do have longer range on the uh, pacifiers, and that is mainly due to the increase in shot speed. As you can see here, they go up from um, 667 meters per second to 1000 meters per second, which makes it a lot easier to hit, because these, of course, every weapon that has travel time, you want as fast um, shot speed as possible, so that the target has as little time as possible to change course or slow down or speed up as you shoot at them. So they're going to be easier to hit at, even at longer ranges. But again, it doesn't really matter if your shot's going to be spread out too much. Rate of fire, clip size, and all that is all the same. Um, but there's one stat here. There's actually like two stats here right, right at the bottom that I think is very, very interesting. And that is the jitter. Now, normally when we work with jitter in uh, many weapons, it is the weapon like uh, jittering around and the jittering angle can then determines how much it will jitter from side to side. But with fragmentation cannons, the jitter is the size of the spread. So the normal ones have a, have a jitter of five degrees. That means that you're going to shoot in a five degree cone, which sounds very small, but it's actually quite big. That means your shot will be spread out over a large area. Of course, meaning that you're not going to be able to hit with all your shots. Now, if you look at the pacifiers, they have a jitter angle of 1.7. That's very, very low. That's like a third, something like that. I think it's about a third um, of what you get with the normal ones. So they're going to be at a much tighter spread um, than the other ones. And I, uh, I have a small video here so we can see the difference between a normal uh, fragmentation cannon that a pacifier um, how tight the spread actually is and that means you're of course going to be able to hit at longer range because your grouping is going to be a lot tighter even at longer range and that is also uh, reflected in the damage fall off which is the distance at which your, your weapon will begin to get a reduced damage output um, when you hit um, because lose speed 
So I don't know why weapons have damage fall off, but they do. Um, so basically, the um, the passive fires is a uh, is kind of the the sniper version of a shotgun, right? <laughs> it's it's an accurate, it's a more accurate version of the normal pacifiers. You true, you, you you lose a bit of base damage, but you gain a tighter spread. So you're gonna be, it's gonna be easier for you to hit at longer range. So it's it's essentially what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a fragmentation cannon that could hit at a longer range because at close range, I don't think the difference is that big because you will hit with more with the pacifiers, but you're gonna go, you're gonna um, do less damage per shot. So at at close range, I feel like these are pretty. Um, pretty identical here we're talking within 500 meters but as soon as you begin to move out uh, between, over those 500 meters around a kilometer and maybe even at a kilometer and a half they're not gonna be that affected out there but at around a kilometer I would definitely say you're gonna get a more you're gonna get a more out of your pacifiers because that tighter spread and that leads me on to the um, to the recommendations for um, for what ship to use them for I originally Got my hands on these weapons because I wanted to test them out and see how they worked in a PvE context. How do they work fitted onto a big ship like a Corvette fighting ships in a Hasbro site, for instance. And what I found is that because they are fixed, and then generally I think fixed weapons are a lot of fun. But in terms of PvE, where efficiency is the number one priority... I don't feel like they are they are that efficient um, because your effective damage output is going to be very low because you need to both maintain that close proximity to your target and you also at that close range is going to be able to keep track with them so you can actually do an accurate aimed shot of course because they are fixed so if you're going to use the passive fire fragmentation cannons i would i would recommend putting these on a uh, s smaller and very highly maneuverable ship Preferably something that's pretty quick, so you have an easier time controlling the engagement, keeping your distance close, uh, and and still have the maneuverability to track, uh, to track your enemy, um, and get those shots in accurately. Um, so a ship like the Vulture, I could see this be uh, be very effective on a on a Vulture. Um, that has those two large hard points. Two um, pacifier frag cannons could absolutely be devastating. If you put double shot on these, they are going to, of course, double the um, the ammo clip size to six, and they're going to fire two shots every time you um, you pull the trigger. Of course, you're also going to use a lot more ammo. But they, that is absolutely hilarious. I could try this out on my Corvette, and even though it's not the most efficient build, um, it is extremely fun to fly with i had a live stream a couple of weeks back where i tried these out and when you get into those perfect situations where an npc just decides to sit still right in front of you and you just parked 500 meters and you just open up and empty your whole magazine into it you will just shred anything in front of you and it is so quick i pulled down a uh, pretty much a, a full health elite anaconda after his shield was down, I opened up with the frag cannons and he was pretty much gone in a matter of seconds. So when you get into those situations, the weapons are extremely, extremely effective and can be one of the most deadly weapons that you can get your hands on in the game because of that raw DPS output that you, I think is unmatched with other weapons. But of course, it requires that you are able to get into that perfect situation or maintain it with your maneuverability so there is a bit of a skill cap both in terms of the uh, using fixed weapons of course but also in piloting skills to be able to stay on your target stay behind them and just keep um keep those uh, those swords pointing in the right direction so for pve just to conclude i am not going to recommend these in a pvp situation i can see them being very effective if you're going to use them in pve i would recommend using it on a smaller ship like a vulture or or something similar where you can have access to uh, to large hard points of course these only comes in large variant so let me know what you guys think of these uh, weapons have you uh, tried them out yourself what kind of build do you use and um, do you find them difficult to use how do you manage to get into those perfect situations where you can really use the weapons to its full potential let me know that in the comment section down below and if you like the video remember to give a like down below and subscribe to the channel and um, 
And until next time, I hope I'll see you guys in space.